have done so many top 10, but this tire list, bro, I'm telling you, it's for real hard. I can't do it. I can't do it, bro. Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today it's the first time I'm gonna make a tire list myself into the site tiremaker.com and this is gonna be a tire list with all the tier 4s. I'm gonna break down all the tier 4s, you know, where you can use which one, which CDP and why, you know, I suggest you to go for this one instead of something else. It's really hard to answer all, all the comments, you know, in the videos, in Discord, DMs about which one is going to be my next tier 4, which are the best tier 4s and, you know, for specific game modes. And I used to do the top 10, but now we have 40 tier 4s. And because there are 40 tier 4s, I tried to make, you know, 6 categories that are really good uh, to spread the characters, you know. The first one, the ABX, ABL meta, of course you can understand, it's the best characters to be used for this specific days of ABL and ABX. There are not a lot, but I'm gonna break down this. And yeah, actually, you know what, I just forget. Before we go through that, I want you to make sure that you have smashed the like button subscribe to the channel and let me know down below in the comments what's your personal uh, opinion about the list if I would do something to change or your personal list for tier 4s of course always welcome the big comments out there so yeah the first category as I told you it's like my favorite game mode which is PvP uh, PvE ABX ABL uh, the second one it's the PvP meta uh, where it's the best characters that you're gonna you see people use on other world battle, timeline battle, uh, other uh, alliance tournament. For alliance conquest, of course, there are multiple characters that you can use, but we are going here for the best of PvP. World boss meta is characters that are really good damage wise for world boss legend. The tags they have helps you to use them in multiple days. But they are not, you know, their tags are not fit to ABX and ABL or the damage they're doing are like proking and not uh, raids uh, friendly. So th there are a lot of them actually. I'm gonna break it down for you too. After I made a list for ABX and ABL, the second choice, you know, if you can't have the some characters that they are premium, that they are seasonal, that they are, you can't find them, I'm gonna help you here find out which are the best to use for yourself if you miss the super meta for pvp i'm gonna go through pvp good here it's the second tire you know the second tire actually pvp characters that you're gonna see people use them but only if the main pvp meta characters are kind you know banned or something uh they have some debuffs or something so yeah I'm gonna also try to put them uh, from, you know, from the left to right, from the best character, in my opinion, to uh, the right to the worst after, you know. And in the end, it's the outdated. For sure, uh, all of the tier 4s right now in the game, they are 40. And if we exclude one tier 4 character, which is... Uh, <laughs> Cyclops, which is really bad and really outdated, you know, uh, because he don't have any uniform and he's tier 4. The rest of the characters are having some use. It's not, there is not character that if you build tier 4, you're not gonna get any value. It's not like I'm telling you, I'm roasting you because you tier 4 any character. But yeah, let's start from somewhere and let's start from the things that I'm absolute sure and I'm doing it, I'm trying it, I'm testing it daily. It's ABX and ABL, and I'm gonna start with the number one absolute champion of ABL and ABX, Luna Snow, with your paywall uniform. She's gonna be uh, available again in summer. In between, you can also tier 4 here with her old uniform. She's really good with it too. But if you don't, I'm not suggesting you to go for it, you know, just wait until the summer. She is the number one because of her tags, she can be used in more than 5 days of ABL and ABX weekly, so she is she's the number one everywhere. She can get ABL 12 million really easy, has a lot of use for, a, for World Boss Legend also, 
and yeah that, there, there is huge amount of things that you can do with here actually so yeah i'm gonna stop there i'm not gonna leak anymore <laughs> luna snow you know uh, the second one i would go for uh dr octopus dr octopus it's so hard to play i haven't managed to master him but the value he has is uh, really big because you can use him in two days of abl and two days uh actually yeah two days of abx that makes him really really useful and you could only compare him uh in the days that he has with magneto all of the characters i'm drawing in the list right now need absolute a raids a brilliant raids a mighty raids whatever with raids uh but yes dr octopus has crazy value magneto has crazy value and these three characters has the most days for abl and abx of course, uh, I know that uh, Magneto also is seasonal and it was in the Christmas, so if you don't have his uniform, he don't have any value actually. After that, I'm gonna put Jean Grey, easy peasy. Jean Grey is uh, also really useful for ABL and ABX. She has multiple days and she has crazy value for PvP. I'm not gonna drop here as a PvP meta character, even if she is a PvP meta character right now. If you decide to choose to build here for PvP, you can have great results with her. But in my mind, at, at the moment, before any other villain, you know, female or universal female character comes, Captain Marvel came into the game but didn't actually replace her. Uh, she can pull out a lot of scores out there, so in my mind, with raids and for ABL, ABX, her value is still there and she has a lot of it. Other than that, uh, the next one I would go for, uh, I am this, I try to decide between Loki and Cable. Loki and Cable both can do 12 million ABL. These characters at the moment are the characters that can cap ABL and give you the tier four car the tier four materials that you can get from the 12 million reward. This is the most important reward right now in the game, in my mind, you know, getting daily 50 uh, tier 4 materials. It's really, really nice. And it's like playing two more World Boss Legend. So why not? Why not? It's totally cool. And Loki is really hard to play. Cable also needs the SFX on. There's a lot of things going on, but still they totally deserve uh, a build for ABL and ABX and they are on the top of the meta. Uh, for the next one, the next character I'm gonna drop here, it's Rogue. Rogue has also a payable uniform. Rogue can't get 12 million herself, but she is kind of unique. She replaced Storm for this specific day of mutant female hero that you have to use this specific character. And she is really good for World Boss Legend also. Uh, with her raids, she flies through ABL, but with the judgment, she's really good also there. And she's doing miracles in uh, World Boss Legend too. I'm using her right now with a mighty judgment and she has huge value. After that, I'm gonna drop the other meta character. These two, Rogue and Odin, can't get themselves 12 million. It's really hard and only super good players can do that. Uh, but yes, this is it. This is actually all the characters you need for ABL specific. And there is other two characters that is gonna be unfair if I'm not include them into this list. And it's Black Bolt and Ghost Rider. Black Bolt and Ghost Rider are really good. Black Bolt can do the job of Loki way easier, but the fact that he's not an alien gives him less use for ABL. He has only one day. For Ghost Rider, exactly the same thing, but Ghost Rider has his own ABX day and he's an absolute monster there. He can do miracles. You can use him with a judgment or raids and you have to consider that doing Ghost Rider tier four it's an investment for all of your tier 4s. Actually, you can't see uh, the character right now, so let's do it like this at the moment, and I'm gonna move my face later on. So yeah, Ghost Rider gonna give you crazy value for all your tier 4s because he's considered as the best striker in the game. He is the best striker for all the characters in the game right now for ABL and ABX. Other than that, there are some other characters that came recently into the game, like Mystique. 
Mystique has her own value for ABX. He has, she has her own day for ABL and day uh, for ABX. You can use her and get uh, the cap, you know, 15 million. She's the only character that she's able to be cap on ABX. Uh, this day, she's doing more than uh, Green Goblin, but Green Goblin, of course, is tier 3. So that's why she is the number one there. There is no competition there. After that, I'm going to drop you here uh, Black Panther, actually. Black Panther also is really good character. And he and Moon Knight are really, really close, the damage they have. Moon Knight also has the value of the team-up collection. So Moon Knight, in some cases, if you have a really high team-up collection, can do more damage. But Black Panther, for the most of the people, uh, are you know uh, he is like the number uh, the number one for combat hero day of ABL and ABX. If you miss Doctor Octopus, you can use him as a human combat character for ABL day, but for ABX he is like the number one with Moon Knight. Uh, this is the list, the meta list. You don't need actually any other tier four if you want to perform. And of course, you can you can you know put uh, Black Bolt down and put uh, no Black Bolt down. The rest of the characters, if you have like three, six, nine, ten, eleven tier fours here, this eleven tier four can make you score the maximum in ABL and ABX. Black Bolt, as I told you, can be used instead of Loki for one day, but in my mind, doesn't really worth it. So now let's go uh, into the PvP meta. PvP meta is really easy. It used to be Adam Warlock always, and he still is one of the best characters to use in the game for PvP. He can do whatever you want uh, with an energy. He can do whatever you want with a grid, mighty grid, mighty energy, or mighty conquest. Uh, he is the meta for PvP period. But of course, because there are the restrictions, there are the debuffs and all this stuff, you have to use other characters. And if I had uh, Jean Grey on the characters right now, I could slap here right next to Adam Warlock. But because we're missing here, uh, because I put here in the PvE, I'm gonna drop here Wolverine. After uh, Adam Warlock, in my mind, is Wolverine and... For PvP, the most important thing is the revive and after is the immortality buff. Wolverine is one of the best characters to use for multiple game modes, Alliance Conquest and all this. And the really good counter to use for him, it's no other than the new tier 4 we took, Madeline. Madeline or Wolverine, uh, you know, it's kind of really close in my mind. Madeline is easier to play on manual, uh, Wolverine is better on auto. It's kind of complicated, but these three characters with Jean Grey, they are the absolute meta in the game. Of course, always there is Spider-Man waiting in the corner and do some one-shots. He's really strong, he can counter Smedling, he can counter Adam, he can counter Jean Grey. Uh, he suffers from Wolverines, but you know, these characters are like the best to use for every single game mode of PvP and of course you have to consider the restrictions that there are. Crazy value for PvP also has Ghost Rider and I, I could slap him right here uh, because you can see him uh, in a lot of days of ABL and ABX. I would put Hela also. Hela is not necessary to be tier 4, it's not like as a tier 4 adds a lot into the game but because she has a value as a support and she is kind of meh actually you know what no she doesn't deserve it we have to have the absolute meta characters for pvp here and the absolute meta characters for pvp right now it's these characters it's adam wolverine spider-man madeline and zine and perhaps ghost rider hella it's btr in my mind she is really she's good she's pvp good you can see here being all over uh, the, the the game modes, the PvP game modes, but mostly because she's not going to do the kills, but because she is a support character, and doing her tier 4, in my mind, is waste if you want to use her only for PvP. She has some value for PvE also, but you need to focus her build if you want to go through and do some really good damage. So, 
let's go into the world boss legend meta and the absolute champion number one of course it's no other than saron rogers saron rogers is like one of the best characters in the game here play style it's mad annoying she's really hard to get the maximum out of here but as you do that she can do miracles the accumulation she has is crazy you can do uh miracles with here and something i just mentioned i just saw and forget it's carl darver sorry captain marvel captain marvel is also meta for one day of abx c is replacing jean gray in some days of abl and some pvp players doing it also but in my mind she's way worse than jean and yes her place is kind of there you know uh, it's in the last fable and tbx characters you should build so that was a small uh, addition there and yes well was legend meta sarah rogers multiple days that you can use here multiple stages actually really nice tags she is the number one in my mind number two uh it's miles morales miles morales also has a lot of use in world boss legend agility tag he has you know multiple uh, stages that he fits and his damage is insane with just a judgment you know if you just drop him a city of judgment he can do miracles out there uh after that i would go for uh blue dragon also is really good for uh world boss legend she's really strong there and the tags also helps here she could say we could say that she is like second tier for pvp but you need to build a team around here so she's good only for alliance conquest mostly for pve uh i would go and put uh moon knight into the world boss legend meta because he his damage is really good even with a proking obelisk the fact that he can take advantage of extra uh, peers helps him cut through the world boss legend and he has really easy rotation and doesn't need any crazy build to go through uh after that i would go and put uh storm uh, in my mind storm it's first storm saron and blue dragon are really strong for world boss legend the ctp i would use for saron storm and blue dragon is mighty or brilliant destruction or uh, perhaps energy also for Sharon. They are cutting through the bosses. They are really strong. Miles Morales could be worked uh, perfect with a judgment, but he is also kind of proc friendly. Moon Knight, mighty energy, mighty destruction. He is kind of proc friendly too. Other than that, uh, I could say Doctor uh, Doctor Strange is really cool for World Boss Legend. He has a lot of tags that he can take advantage of uh thor also the fact that he's universal hero alien gives him the opportunity to be used on multiple days so you can see him being all over the place uh, all over uh the stages of world boss legend these characters actually had helped me a tone especially thor of course the abl and abx characters are really useful for world boss legend too but I have to you know uh, spread them somehow uh what else i could go and uh, drop here captain america is really good for world boss legend even at level 80 he's cutting through the bosses he's really strong and he can do really a lot of damage uh who else okay let's go to the other let's drop uh let's say carnage also it's uh really it's in my mind stronger than hella for pvp and he's really good for world boss legend also you can use him both ways uh but this is some of the pvp character that they are kind of underused right now because there are the others that they are better uh thanos it's actually perhaps the best here in this category i'm i'm having thanos here only because he's really strong on manual he can do pretty much everyone but the fact that he doesn't have the immortality and the revive give doesn't give him a you know a chance to revive and do some more kills so yeah immortality carnage and immortality hella could be better than thanos in this case 
So let's go into the last categories here and outdated character also I consider uh, my boy Antman. Uh, ABX and ABL really good characters as an alternative for Luna Snow is Gwen. Gwen can do pretty much whatever uh, Luna can do but you know they have actually the same tags but it's way worse. Another alternative for ABX and TBL, it's Gamora. Gamora, it's actually the second best speed character female for ABX and TBL, and that's because uh, here um, she has a lot of damage actually, but because also you can use her for wall boss legend, uh, most of the people end up using her with proc and not with raids, but I, I used to have her with a mighty raids and I was doing 14 million at level 80 with her, she is really strong. Iron Man uh, helped me a ton in the game because he has the villain and the hero uniform, but in my mind, he is kind of outdated right now in the state of the game that we are. Uh, I can't suggest to anyone to build Iron Man because there are better alternatives in all the slots here. Black Widow also is kind of outdated. You have to consider that she is like the worst speed type to use, but it's something special here. Uh, Black Widow is actually the second best striker for multiple characters after Ghost Rider. Thor is also a really good striker here, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, he, he has crazy value for World Boss Legend. So yeah, I'm dropping him here. So yeah, if you don't have Ghost Rider last uniform, the second best striker is Thor in most cases and after is Black Widow for ABX and ABL tier 4 striker. For World Boss Legend and PvP, there are different strikers, Wolverine, Adam are really good, Spider-Man is really good striker and for World Boss Legend, whatever you're gonna use, uh, you have to match the instinct actually. So, the rest of the characters here, Namor, it's really close to Dr. Octopus to be honest and he's really good for World Boss Legend, I could put him here but I'm giving you him as an alternative for ABX characters for the free-to-play ones uh, actually Dr. Octopus is also so yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop him here I'm gonna drop him here for World Boss Legend meta because he has the strong ability uh, that he is unique with it, uh, he is also mutant, he is also villain, he has multiple days that he can be used and stages actually for World Boss Legend uh, and also he's really close to Dr. Octopus. Uh, the next I could slap is uh, Shadow Cell and Shadow Cell to be honest she's really good for World Boss Legend but I couldn't suggest to anyone to go and build her for just that you know there is Gwen, there is Gamora, there is Luna, there is Rogue, uh, Mystique, everyone is doing more damage than here. Perhaps in some cases he could do more for World Boss Legend from others, but still, I mean, she was from the first tier 4, so she feels outdated. Venom, um, yeah, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure where to put him. Uh, he has some really decent uh, tags, his damage is really similar to the top meta characters like Moon Knight, uh, like, uh, you know, and the rest, but still, I feel like he's falling behind, uh, I couldn't suggest you to go for him uh, for any reason, you know, I couldn't tell you go and build right now uh, Venom for something. It's the, it's the tags that doesn't help him. He has a healing tag, but we just took Rogue for World Boss Legend. So there are multiple others being better than him right now, so I could slap him here. Star-Lord is a really good character. People could argue that he is same strong as Odin, but the fact that Star-Lord gets two supports for World or ABL and he's doing kind of the same, perhaps worse, uh, against Odin gives me, you know, the, the gives me the only choice to put Odin first because Odin has crazy value for World Boss Legend. Also, his tags helps him a lot. He's similar with Thor. Odin and Thor have the same tags, 
Uh, but yeah, Thor is way lower on most cases, damage for both both legend and ABL these days. And we are with Professor X right now. Professor X, I could put him in front of uh, all these characters just because of his tags and because he's really strong. He's really strong and his value dropped a lot when Cable came before he was the ABL best choice to go for. Um, he with Storm, but now I would go something like this. The least could be like that, you know. I feel like I mentioned everything I need to mention about the strikers. Ghost Rider for uh, for ABL and ABX. After Thor, after Black Widow for Wall Boss Legend, the Mats Instinct with being tier four and gives you the maximum value. And for PvP, uh, Wolverine, Adam, Spider Man, Hulk are really good choices. Actually, the PvP unit that you have here, and if you can match the instinct, that's it. You know, it's really cool. So, that was my list. Let me know down below in the comments if you feel like I messed up, I did something wrong. Of course, I'm still learning. It's not like I have only 18 characters tier 4, and this is like 40. So, this is the totally feedback. I, I, this is the feedback I'm getting from all of you around. Uh, the ABX and ABL is the biggest, uh, as you can see here, the biggest tire list. Uh, but that's because, okay, let's see here. The outdated, it's below. PvP good. ABL, ABX alternatives. Wall Boss Legend meta. PvP meta. And ABL, ABX meta. So if you have the top characters, uh, except Black Bolt or Loki or whatever, as I told you, you're fine. For the rest, it's up to you. That was it. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It's really important for me to know that you enjoyed so I can make more lists like that. See you into the next. I hope I helped you. Kisses in your faces.